All right, it's about 4.45 a.m. and I'm on my way to the airport. It's an early morning flight today and I am going to Nelson for the day. Uh, so that'll be my day. So yeah, join me along for the ride. It's going to be very low key, very low edit. You'll be able to see kind of like what I do for the day. Enjoy some beautiful Nelson highlights because I'm going to be biking and walking. And um, yeah, hang out with me for the day. So yeah, it's been a long time since I got up this early and hit the road. And I'm heading towards the airport here in Wellington, New Zealand. Now it's going to be a small uh, plane I'm taking today on Sounds Air. Um, I think it's called a caravan. It's the name of the aircraft that I'm going to be taking. And I suspect it's something like a seven-seater. I think it's a double propeller, might be a single propeller just on the nose. Uh, and that's going to be whizzing across the uh, the Cook Strait. Now I am thankful that at the moment it doesn't seem too windy. Looks like there's been a bit of rain overnight. It's been really dry here in New Zealand over the last wee while. I think we're in a, I think last time I read we're at 24% risk of uh, severe water shortages later on this summer because of course we're in the southern hemisphere and it's kind of peak summer here at the moment but not quite peak as far as the possible water shortages might be so I'm just heading along this road here um, which is along a kind of like a really high vantage point ridge line but there's no one up no one this is a work day it's a Wednesday um, it's just that the kind of like the end of the summer holidays here in New Zealand in that people in Wellington we have regional holidays here so the regional holiday for Wellington was on Monday which was at the end of kind of like many people's long summer break um, although people probably got to work a bit earlier now, but it's, it's like an extra long weekend in January that people can have. Um, but yeah, we kind of, you know, if you're really smart about it, you might spend a bit of annual leave and take the rest of this week off. Uh, and some people won't go back until next week. Um, but for the grown-ups, this really is kind of like the end of the holidays. But school kids probably off for another week or so yet um, I know our eldest daughter isn't back until next uh, is it Tuesday Tuesday I think <coughs> and um, our middle daughter is back on Wednesday next week so she's got a week left so even though parents are back to work they're still having to juggle that childcare and stuff so today on a Wednesday is a normal day where my wife is looking after the kids and I'm not doing any kindy pickups or drop-offs or anything like that so which is why I tend to book like a whole load of stuff on a Wednesday either if I'm away or filming or sometimes catching up with people uh, or I'm scripting and editing yeah, look at this. There's a whole bunch of robots going on over here overnight, which I didn't know about. That's interesting. Okay. Now, I'll take a left here. This road can be a little bit tight. So one thing about Wellington is that the roads are all really tight. It's kind of like a... It's, it's a it's a strange old place when um, European settlers first came over in the um, 1800s um, I think that they had a city plan which is meant for somewhere a lot flatter uh, and when they came and tried to land in the place where they wanted to kind of start laying out this city um, they were told that that 
they could not by the local Māori who uh, moved them along and uh, they ended up further along the coast here in Wellington uh, and they had a city plan and they just kind of like said okay we'll go with that even though uh, where they were meant to kind of set up their city uh, was very flat uh, Wellington is not very flat uh, and this is how the story goes as to why we've ended up with a city with all these narrow streets and quite a strange road structure for the topography the layout of the land here in Wellington because it is a hilly city and it is a windy city uh, so yeah it can be a little bit challenging at times but at the same time it is a one of the smallest capital cities, I think, in the southern hemispheres, if not the world. Uh, and I love it. It's great. Although it is aging and showing signs of wear and tear recently. We have severe water problems. There's a massive water leak that I've just um, driven across then. And they just don't have the people or the infrastructure capability to fix it, it seems. And so we end up losing water every day through leaks and all kinds of stuff which they really should be sorting out but has been neglected for decades. And Wellington's not alone in that. It's actually like across many, many places in New Zealand where this is an issue. So yeah, that's the short story as to like why Wellington looks and feels as it does. I'm just now driving across here. Um, you won't be able to see it, but that's the airport just over there. And I'm going to have to go and find a park fairly quickly because um, my last check-in is in 35 minutes. Now I've got a, uh, I'm going to park out. Uh, it's just a street park today where you're allowed to park for uh, 24 hours. It's in a residential area, but um, council kind of rezoned it because people were kind of like taking taking advantage a little bit and you know going away for weeks holidays and then taking up all these residential parks in this district next to the airport, which is kind of like a little bit unfair. Uh, so they said, "Hey, no, that's not going to be okay anymore. If you don't have a residential parking permit for this area, you can you can park here for 24 hours and that's it." And that's kind of like what I'm going to do today because I'm only going to be gone uh, for just over 12 hours altogether. And so I feel okay about that and hopefully the local residents do too. Alright, I'm going to take a slight detour around here. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go this way. Catch to the airport. All right, at the airport now and fully checked in and I have got the external mic. This is my Flame X5, which I have reviewed on my channel. And we have this connected to the Ace Pro and this is still in pure video mode. You can see behind me here. So I'm hoping that this is picking up my voice, okay? I've got a little peak level meter here at the top of the screen, which is showing that it's looking okay. I might even just kind of turn this up a little bit. Uh, again let's have a look here there we go that's probably a little bit better there yeah okay well um it's almost time to board uh you can see around the airport here with me uh and we'll just walk down around here and then we'll just walk down to the gate i've already checked in it's a uh, flight taking off in about 20 minutes from now and we will be flying probably as dawn breaks over the South Island. Uh, so that will be pretty cool. Um, hopefully this pure video, actually no, dawn is breaking now so we might be just afterwards if you have a look out here. You see the sky just lightening up, but still should be a pretty nice flight. Uh, we're just be up in the air at about 6 a.m. So 
Yes, and I'm wearing a mask. There is a COVID outbreak going on here in New Zealand at the moment, so let's not be stupid about these things, eh? Soccer flips in the air off the sea. And uh, why are they? It's a uh, smooth flight. They're really tunic and they're winning. They're going to put it to the uh, cloud base, which is something that they have. I imagine we'll be uh, skipping under that low cloud base for most of this flight. If you look out here, we've got a little bit of ground underneath us as well. So we're just kind of, oh man, no, we're heading into this ground now.
Thank you. Sweet. Um, yeah, this is the top thing. I'll grab that door for you in just a sec. So okay. just sit, sit tight for a sec. Yeah.
Thank you. All right, we are off. And I can take this off now. All right, well, let's turn this noise cancelling off as well. There we go, that's better. All right, so we are here now. We are uh, at the airport, I'm landed. And unfortunately, I messed up the, uh, the landing sequence on the plane uh, because uh, I messed up quick capture, so I didn't press the button when I needed to. So you got all the flight, but you didn't get the landing. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, but it was nice. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get the landing at the other end of the day, but uh, yeah, it will still be daylight. So we'll get some landing time back when we were in Wellington. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's get moving.